Hi. Now in an earlier tutorial I showed you that if we were given a second order linear differential equation then we would form from this the auxiliary equation and solve this auxiliary equation for m. And depending on what type of roots we had it would give rise to different types of general solution. And in this example what I want to do is show you again what happens when the roots are equal. I showed you that the general solution was of the form y equals e to the power mx all multiplied by ax plus b. Now I've got an example here that will hopefully reinforce this for you but you might like to have a go at this so I'll give you just a moment to pause the video and then you can come back when ready and check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all what I'd want to do is just set up that auxiliary equation. So we'll just part, put it in here, auxiliary equation. And what's it going to be? Well, we just take our coefficients here, 4, minus 4 and 1, and then we create the equation for m squared minus 4m plus 1 and this will equal 0 and we solve this you could check out the discriminant b squared minus 4ac if you did you'd find that it comes to 0 telling us that we're going to have equal roots well if we factorize this okay it turns out to be 2m minus 1 multiplied by another 2m minus 1 and that will equal 0, leading to two equal roots. Those roots being m equals a half, or if you like, m equals a half. But nonetheless, just m equals a half. And that means that the general solution, okay, we'll just write that, this in. The general solution is essentially going to take on this form here and that would be y equals e to the power mx so that would be half x and that's all multiplied by ax plus b where a and b are arbitrary constants. So I hope you're able to get that one if you did give this a go and uh, in later tutorials I'll show you how we can go on to work out the constants a and b just based on initial conditions that would be given. That brings us to the end of this particular example, but don't forget that there's others in this series where the roots can be different or the roots can be imaginary. And the best place to see these is just to go onto my website, examsolutions.net. Okay?